guys, so as you can see, I hand make each piece by myself in an effort to sort of automate the process. I've been playing around with molds. I've made molds with the silicone putty kit previously, like I make my flowers out of them, but I wanted to find a way to make a mold out of this like ribbon that I make for the Maxines because they take so long. So the molds didn't work out because they're so flat and polymer clay is really pretty hard so squishing all of this and like trying to get such a thin piece out of the mold just wasn't working. But I realized last minute that I could just use this piece that I already baked for the mold but use it as a stencil. So I'm still able to make the bows a lot faster now because I have this stencil and I think an even faster way to do this would be to somehow make a cookie cutter but that will be for another day you, so Mondays are usually the days where I sort of reset and catch up on a lot of things and I have a lot of catching up to do. I've been avoiding a lot of things. I feel like I'm constantly behind, but that's okay. It's never too late to reset. So let's get my life together. I have a lot of different things I want to do, but the two big things I need to get done today is update my website with my new branding and file my income tax. Let's just take this one step at a time. So if you're a little confused, basically as a self-employed person, I need to file my own income tax. And whenever I read my comments and people ask me about starting a small business, this is the most daunting part to them is filing taxes because it's scary if you don't do it right. But if you really, really simplify it, filing taxes is just reporting how much money you made last year and where you made that money. A good rule of thumb for a self-employed person is that you typically save 20 to 30% of all of your earnings so that you can pay that back to the government. Then on the other hand, there are tax deductions and deductions decrease how much you actually owe to the government because the government wants to incentivize people to start their own businesses. It's good for the economy. So the government creates things like deductions to help incentivize people to continue running their business. Disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor, nor am I a professional in filing taxes. I just figured that this video could be super, super helpful for people who are trying to start their own business just to show you that it's not impossible. When you work a corporate job, or a job where you're working for someone else, typically your boss provides you a form called a W-2, and that is the form that you file. But when you have a small business, you're not filing a W-2. You're typically filing a 1099K. From my experience with Etsy and Shopify, if you've met the threshold for the year, meaning that you've met a certain amount of sales to qualify to get a form, they will email you the 1099K. So if you sell through Shopify, you would have had to receive more than $20,000 in gross payments and have more more than 200 transactions processed by Shopify payments. Or let's say you didn't sell through Etsy or Shopify. Let's say you only made money last year through TikTok or Instagram or YouTube. Those companies should send you a 1099 MISC because from my understanding, a 1099K is only filed if you've run a shop, like if you've made money through credit or debit card transactions. Whereas a 1099 MISC is filed regardless of the form of payment. So for example, if you made money through YouTube, they will send you money through an ACH transfer 
transfer and all that money is reported on the 1099 MISC form. So knowing that, I think a big misconception is that you yourself have to keep track of every little penny that you make by yourself in like your own bank book. But in reality, these larger companies that you're making money through, such as Etsy, Shopify, or YouTube, they keep track of things as well and they'll send you a form so that you can use these forms to file your taxes. Speaking of taxes though, I also get a lot of questions on how to register your business as an LLC or S Corp. LLC stands for Limited Liability Company and I personally registered on Comfy Co as an LLC, I think around two or three years ago. An LLC basically separates your personal assets from your business assets and it's super useful for when you're filing your taxes. And I wish I could give you guys more information on how to do that, but the thing is like every state has such different regulations. I basically just had to learn everything for my state the hard way and I wish I had something like Taylor Brands when I first started on Comfy Co back in 2020. Taylor Brands is a business building platform for starting, managing, and growing a business. They can help you with things such as LLC formation, checking which licenses and permits you need for your state. If you wanna do freelancing or commissions, they can help you access attorney written documents such as contracts and service agreements. They can even help you set up a business bank account to keep your business finances separate from your personal finances. They can even help you protect your business name and logo with a trademark, which is something that I've personally been really interested in for the longest time, but just never got around to it. I've only listed a couple things I can help you with, but they can do way more. You can even reach out to Taylor Brands business experts and receive a live consultation if you ever feel overwhelmed. Anyway, I think this tool is super amazing, especially as a self-employed person. Instead of spending so much time worrying, researching, and doubting myself, I could have been using Taylor Brands. So if you want to start your dream business this year, definitely check them out by clicking the link below. And it turns out that Shopify is not even gonna send me my form until the end of February. So I guess I don't have to actually file my taxes today. Okay, so I just updated my website. That didn't take much time at all, actually. I basically just changed three things. So I changed the main logo at the top of the page, and then I also changed the font of my website to be a sans serif. I used to be a serif girly, but if you've noticed my YouTube videos as well, I've changed everything to sans serif because, I don't know, I just think it's cuter, it's more legible, and a little more modern. And then I also changed the favicon. The favicon is such a tiny detail, but it's basically the little icon in your browser. You say you need a time I think you mean a buyout Cause it's pretty clear you're on your way out And though I understand it's hard sometimes To make up your mind in these trying times, yeah I just can't accept you leaving me When I'm overseas with the heart so heavy Think that I deserve the truth for once Not a guilty tone cause you're not alone, yeah You said you wanna come home but I That I can't seem to find When I go to reach it Just leaves my mind 
So because Mr. Uncomfy has sort of a weird schedule, I try to spend as much time with him as I can on the days he does have off. So this morning we went to one of my favorite places in all of Colorado, and I'm gonna butcher the name because it's French, but it's called the Tous les Jours Bakery. This is the one in Westminster and it has the best selection of baked goods and cakes and I even have my birthday cake made from here. So I really, really like this place. Um, could I get a small hazelnut latte please? I always get the sweet frank roll and then I really like their sesame donuts. Mr. Uncomfy got a yuzu pie and corn cheese donuts. These are so good. So I may have bought a pottery wheel. I've been slowly and carefully planning a home pottery studio for a while now. Last year I took a pottery class that lasted about a month and I loved it so much I took the same beginner's class again because it was the only one that worked with my schedule. But by the time the second class ended, I couldn't justify spending another $300 on the same beginner one class. So ever since last November, we've had this idea of building out a home studio. And when I say we, I mean, Ms. Mr. Uncomfy and I. So flash forward to February, we finally got our wheel delivered. My pottery teacher described these wheels as like the Cadillacs of pottery wheels. It's the Shimpo VL Lite and they're known to be super quiet and smooth because it's not like a belt that's moving the wheel, it's magnets. We went to the pottery store and got some glazes so now I can finally glaze all the pieces that I made for my pottery class last year. Of course, we got a ton of buckets for throwing and washing our tools. Here's my very modest collection of pottery tools. Of course, we have the floor mat. And these probably won't stay here, but I bought a new filter for my air purifier, as well as these giant buckets for water filtration. You can already see the clay sediment has sunken down from yesterday. So now we can dump this water out, and this will be our reclaim bucket. Rusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoes 